Okay, so it's time to finish up here. Now, what we're going to want to do, we put this placeholder in here, double your reading speed. So what we want to do now that we've created our image is just take this out. And now we're going to want to insert and then picture. And then we're going to bring in the image we made for our cover inside here. So picture from file. Okay, and we made this inner image. So we're going to bring that in. There we go. Okay, so at this point now, let's just save this again. Now that we've made that change. So do file. Now save as. And then we want to go down here and save it as HTML. And now what we're going to want to do is put it in a folder. So I'm going to call it HTML version. go in there. Now let's save. Okay, so keep current format. Let's go have a look now. So here's our HTML version. And you see what it's done here. Okay, ignore this lock thing. That's because I have the editor open. Let's close that. Okay, so we have the HTML file and we have all the pictures that are in here as well. So what we need to do is make sure that all these are in a zip folder. So if you have images, you need to make a zip folder. If you don't have images, you're just going to upload this when the time comes. So let's go here. Let's do 7-zip. I use 7-zip to archive them, but you can use the built-in zip utility. So there we go. Okay, so we have the package ready. So let's now go over to the Kindle Direct publishing platform, so KDP. Amazon.com. So this is free to set up, of course. I think I already told you that. So just so go to add a title. All right, now the first thing you're going to see is KDP Direct. Now, what this means is that you're given Kindle the exclusive rights to sell your book. And when you do that, it's going to go into the Kindle Unlimited section. So people that subscribe to that will be able to get your book as well within the unlimited reading program. Okay, and then the royalties work a little different in here. So you can enroll in here if you want or not. It's optional. So I'm not going to go too much about that. You just decide for yourself if you want to do that. Okay, now here's where we need to put in our details for our book. So this, you would fill this out. If you want to put a subtitle in, you do it here. If the book's part of a series, you check this and the edition number. Okay, next publisher. This is optional, but you can put in the name of the publisher if you have a publisher or your own name here. Now, description. You need to spend some time on this part. This is what is going to get people's attention. And, of course, this up here. So do a little better job than I'm doing here. This is just for demo, so I'm not really spending too much time on it. But you need to put in a really good description here to make sure that you maximize your chances of selling your book. Okay, so I can't stress enough how important this is, but so don't do this. Okay, now the next thing you have your contributors. So you can add a contributor and you can give their name here and then just add them in there. And you'll, of course, select what they are. Okay, so the author and then you put in your name here. and then save. Okay, so you can just go and fill those out, your language. Now the ISBN is the International Standard Book Number. If you have one, you can put it in here. If you're self-publishing, this is your first time through, you're not gonna have one. So this is more used in bookstores and stuff like that. So if you have it published somewhere else, you may have one of these. Now, I didn't mention this, but it's obvious what this will give you information about what, what the field is for over here. So you need to verify your publishing rights. So if it's public domain work or this is not a public domain work and I hold the necessary publishing rights.
So you need to verify which one it is. Okay, and then we go to categories and you add the categories. So you would, when you were doing your research, you could look at the books in there and see where the categories are posted and do the same type of thing. Okay, so let's go to self-help. So I'm just going to be general here. Then you can find a secondary category. So let's see if you can find one here. Okay, I found a better one for the main category. So I'm going to delete the one down here, self-help, and I'll make that second category. So under language, arts, and discipline, and we go down to reading skills. Okay, so that's going to be our primary category. And now we'll, we'll save that. And you can go in and add a secondary category if you want. So I could go back down to self-help and general and save. Okay, so there's our categories. If there's any age restrictions, U.S. grade range. So if any of these apply, you can just look at the description here what, of what it is. I know they don't in this case. Now here you need to put in your keywords. So you have up to seven. Okay, so those are comma separated there. So select your book release options. So here, whether you want to release it now or make my book available for pre-order, whichever way you want to do it there. Okay, now here you need to upload or create a book cover. Now there's a cover creator that I told you about before, but you can do that later. So I'm going to browse for my image. So let's save the changes. Now we click browse and we find the image. And it's our marketing cover here. Okay, so there it is. Now remember earlier I had put it the wrong way around, so I just squished it and turned a nice old Chevy, I think, into something else whatever that is anyway now you can also launch the cover creator here we'll go back when we edit the book and i'll show you that and then upload your book file whether you want to enable digital rights or not so digital rights will protect your book through drm so let's enable it actually for now let's just leave it off we'll come back to that if i want to do that later so let's browse for our book content now and it is this HTML version dot zip. Okay, so we can save and continue. Now here you can decide if it's worldwide or whether you just want to release it in certain countries. Okay, so down here you can select a royalty rate 35 or 70%. Now, when you click on that, you'll see something different here. So, price must be between $2.99 and $9.99. Okay, and then there's some other things down here about setting the price depending on the country. Okay, now if we put 35% here, now we can price our book up to $200. Okay, so just keep it $9.99 or under. Then you can get the higher royalty rate. Okay, so it depends on what it is actually you want out of your book. If you want a really high price, then of course the 35% makes sense. Okay, so then it, this shows you your royalty rate by country, or your royalty price, I should say. So there you go. It fills that all out for you. You'll see some of them down here. That you have to be in KDB Select to get the 35% royalty rate. 
Okay, down here we have Kindle Match. So if you enable this, if you have a physical book and they purchased it from within Amazon, you can let them purchase the digital version for $2.99. It shows you over here. And Kindle Book Lending. So you allow the people to lend the book. And there's a period where they can lend the book to someone else. So that's for 14 days. So you're going to agree to the terms here. And now at this point, I'm just going to save as a draft. Make sure I got that. Yeah, success. Okay, so let's go back to the bookshelf. Okay, now remember I said before that you can use the built-in book cover editor. So if we come in here, just load up here. And go down to where our cover is. You can launch the cover creator from here. Okay, and then you can get images from the gallery from your computer, or you can skip the images. I'm not really going to go through how to use this, but it's here for you if you want to do it this way. You can make a really nice cover this way as well if you don't have the skills to make one yourself. Okay, now it's time to have a look at our book. So we'll just go into here, and then just roll down. So you need to preview it, make sure everything's correct. If not, you can go back and edit it and then re-upload it. So here we are, preview your book. So have the online one or you can download. I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so when you get in here, you can choose the orientation over on the right side here. You can choose your device here so you can preview for all devices which is really nice so say android phone you want to see how it looks on there okay so these are your bookmarks up here and then if we click we're going right to left here so basically you're going to go through all these devices and make sure that everything looks the way you want it to look. And if not, you're going to go back and edit it. Now, when you edit it, you're going to want to re-edit the ODT version, the ODF version that we saved in OpenOffice, and then re-export it to HTML, and then bring it back in again. So you just do the same process all over again. You're just going to go into the, your bookshelf and you will just re-upload it in the settings, just like before. So if we were to go down here to near the bottom, to where we re-upload it, so you'd browse for it and then upload it again. Okay, so there it is. That is how you can publish your own ebook on Amazon's Kindle platform.